Novatum is a micro-modular nuclear reactor company that makes the devices low cost and also zero carbon. And with me is the CEO, Alessandro Petrucci, to explain, give me a little more detail. I did kind of a headline there, but talk about what you're doing as a Thank company. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, Terra Innovatum is a macro-modular nuclear solution company we them to provide the low cost and uh, uh, low carbon, zero carbon uh, energy whenever the energy demand is present in the, in, in the world. Uh, and this can be done through our product, which is called the Solo. Solo is basically a very uh, reduced and limited uh, reactor, 10 meter cube reactor, uh, that provide energy for one megawatt electric um, in, uh, uh, without the need to be connected to the grid for long time, 15 years without refueling and uh, with a low maintenance. So it perfectly match the current situation on the market where the energy demand is going to increase and also where to associate with the energy demand, there is the issue connected with where the energy mm -hmm. should be delivered to the end user, the cost of the transmission line. With our solution, basically we can eliminate the cost of the transmission line because we are behind the meter application. Recently, Terra Innovative announces uh, um, way to public, uh, to be public on NASDAQ through a merger acquisition with uh, uh, GSR uh, Corporation. And uh, uh, with that, we may accelerate our plan to uh, basically uh, produce a as many solo we, 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 we will request and with uh, achieving very low cost for all our uh, end user. And the, our capability to be modular is such that we can basically provide energy to a to a, a very wide range of uh, end user. The one that are characterized very intensive energy, like for instance, data center or um, uh, mining or industrial manufacturing, but also to medium and low energy produce, uh, uh, demanding, uh, like uh, uh, for instance, uh, hospital or uh, remote and uh, uh, remote area uh, in communities. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So our solution is perfectly matching the time and the, uh, of the market and the situation now. Well, I was going to ask about that. Like, where do you see Terra Innovatum fitting into the global energy transition? We hear a lot about energy demand, AI, data yeah. centers, remote industries. It feels like the energy kind of mix and makeup is changing a lot. Where do you yeah. see the company fitting? Okay, the energy mm -hmm. demand, the, the, the demand for a clean and a reliable energy is obviously, as you know, uh, growing uh, in the market. But uh, uh, together is bringing together with itself the need to uh, transform transmit that energy in the place where the energy is demanding. So here is where our uh, technology is coming to. Solo can satisfy this requirement, this necessity of, of the market, uh, because it's a, a really small reactor that can be transported during the, after the construction on factory. So basically we can reach every place in the, in, in the earth where, where the energy demand is, is present. And thanks to the uh, fact that uh, we do not refuel the, the reactor, uh, we refuel only after 15 years, also the cost of maintenance is, is, very, is very low. Mm -hmm. And the reactor is extremely safe. So basically, we can place the reactor everywhere. And one of the questions that we usually we receive is, uh, is that really feasible? And the answer is yes, because the size of the reactor we have is similar to what is uh, a research reactor. You may know that there are several research reactors, even in the United States, there are more than 30 research reactors, and they are located in a very high dense populated area. One of these is, for instance, the uh, reactor at uh, MIT in Boston. Uh, is, is there since 1958, so oh. more than 60 years. It's six, six megawatt thermal, so even larger than us, and basically the population didn't even realize that it's there because it's a different concept of the reactor. The, the vision that we have is basically to bring the nuclear energy very close to the energy produced by a traditional um, conventional um, energy producer. Uh, the, the, the issue with the nuclear energy is that whenever you shut down the reactor, you stop the reactor, actually the energy continues to be produced. In our case, being the energy very low, we can, uh, the, the, the amount of energy produced during the shutdown is so low that you cannot melt the reactor. It's like when you try to boil your uh, water, but with a lighter, you never reach the boiling. In the same way, we never reach the melt. And that's the reason why we say that our reactor is intrinsically safe because it cannot melt. How do you differ from other advanced nuclear companies? 
there are several aspects, uh, but definitely I can mention three, which correspond also to the high level requirements we have set when we conceived the reactor in 2018. First of all, uh, is a small reactor uh, and modular. A small reactor because at that time in 2018, we want to try to penetrate in that sector of the market where nuclear energy was never present, the small amount of energy. And uh, obviously we know that one megawatt electric is not so much, we need more energy and that's the reason why we, uh, we really developed the concept of modularity and with our modularity we can reach uh, power of up, up to one gigawatt electric. So basically you can have 1,000 of reactor, of solar reactor, in a circumference with, whose diameter is less than three quarter of miles. And uh, having 1,000 of these reactors, thanks to the modularity, what does it mean? It means that if one or two of those reactors fail for whatever reason, still you have 998 or 999 reactors that work. The second aspect is related with uh, what I said before, the power. We decide to go down with the power because we want something that is extremely safe. In addition to all the mechanism of safety that we have, we know that the reactor cannot melt by physics. So that's the reason why we went so down with, with power. And the third element is that we want something that is ready now. And that's the reason why we select material component and in particular fuel, which is available nowadays, that has been already developed, licensed and adopted by the nuclear industry in the last 60 years. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why with that solution, basically with the risk, the licensing, because all component material have already passed a licensing steps, even though not with us, but with our yeah. predecessor, and also the, with the risk of the commercialization, because our supply chain exists. Nowadays, already now, we are uh, we sign a memorandum of understanding, we are able uh, to ensure a, a level of production that goes from 200 to 400 units. And we have also the possibility to increase that number in case we receive more, more orders in the next uh, months. Well, and I think people are warming up to nuclear, um, but there's still some fear out there. How do you ensure that the device is safe? How's the public protected? This is uh, uh, actually the, the the, the real challenge that we have to do in the next uh, years, not only us, but also our, mm -hmm. our the competitors, education. the education, uh -huh. yes. Uh, the reactor, as I told you, is, uh, is safe because it's, or is safer than other reactor, even though it's not correctly, from technical point of view, to say that, because it's low power. So with low power, basically, you cannot uh, experience this melting of the reactor. But our reactor, we cannot even uh, explode because we don't have water inside. We cool with helium, which cannot produce hydrogen, so we cannot have hydrogen explosion. And in, in addition to all of those two aspects, we have a biological shield, which is an encasement of concrete, two and a half meter thick, that protects the, uh, the people by radiation, from the radiation produced by the reactor. So basically you can stay, stay there 24 hours a day, 365 days per year, and you receive an amount of dose, it's called a dose, similar to what you receive when you do a chest ray, chest okay. X-ray in 10 years. So basically it, it's, it's very, very limited, it's well below the, uh, legal acceptance. And in addition to all of this, what we have? We have uh, several diverse and redundant safety systems. What does it mean diverse? Diverse means that from physical point of view, they act under different physical principle, okay? And each of these uh, mechanisms has internally different redundancy. So in case one fail, another one will intervene. We have calculated that the combination of the failure of all of these is such that basically one accident can occur in, in a time that is something like 10 to the six, 10 to the seven years. So uh, something like millions, 10 millions of, of years. So practically zero, uh, zero, uh, uh, zero risk. Interesting. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.